evening. I'm all ready to head out. Huh? What do you mean it's time for bed? Nighttime's when I'm the most alive. I can travel faster and see better, and there are fewer people on the road, too. Granny named me Kirara. Back when I still had only one tail, Granny would give me head pats and chin scratches and tell me how bright and pretty my eyes were. I've met all sorts of people through delivery work. Some have become regulars of Komania Express, while others have become my friends. And I feel so lucky for that. Each delivery ends with the package reaching its destination. But our bonds with each other live on. If you ask me, friendships between yokai and humans aren't all that difficult to form. I still remember the first time I tried shapeshifting into human form using my yokai powers, thrilled at the thought of finally being able to experience the human world for myself. And before I knew it, my vision had appeared at my waist. Hmm, did this god have a profound desire to travel to all sorts of places too? Lady Miko is a widely renowned kitsune yokai in Inazuma, so it's natural for young yokai like myself to approach her with reverence. But contrary to my expectations, she was surprisingly amiable. She even came to visit me in person and taught me lots of useful stuff about how to survive in human society. Things like proper human etiquette, ways to approach people, and different fried tofu recipes. Huh? That last one was just for her? Parcels sent to Tenchukaku are all packaged intricately with multiple layers of wrapping. Maybe that's what they call a package fit for the almighty Shogun. <laughs> oh, some of them smell really good. Oh, I wonder what's inside. I crossed paths with that detective a long while back. Once he learned that I was a Nekomata, he started asking me to investigate the whereabouts of missing cats. I was happy to help at first, but then I'd hear the cats say things like, I just want to see the outside world, or I get so bored when I'm at home. I felt bad for them, so I lied, telling him that I hadn't seen any cat at all. But it seemed like he could see right through me. I've always wanted to have a chat with the Lady Tengu. Maybe it's because she's the General of the Tenryo Commission, but I find her quite intimidating, so I've only ever watched her from afar. I... I'm just curious about her wings, you know? Are they ever an inconvenience? How does she deal with shedding feathers? Hmm, speaking of the feathers, I think lining my box with them would be super comfy. He's an oni, but he gets along with humans perfectly. He even has his own gang. Oh, I'm so jealous. Maybe I should go ask him for some advice. So I met this magician in Fontaine who could make anything disappear and make it reappear out of thin air. He must have used some kind of yokai power to make that happen, right? Hmm... Is he a yokai too, then? She's really nice to me. I often ran into her in the past when she was out researching ways to make fabrics and develop color palettes. She was always worried that I'd leave claw marks all over her beautiful textiles. But come on, why would I do that to her? She's running a store in Fontaine now and sometimes asks me to deliver stuff to her. <laughs> she even helped me tailor the clothes I'm wearing now. Being a courier is the perfect job for me. The Lady Kitsune told me that those who don't work can't fit into human society, and I'm not having any of that. That's why I've decided to take every delivery seriously. I... I'm not going back to the boonies, even if it means I get to be a great yokai or whatever. Maybe it's because I look like an easy target, but I often run into bandits when I'm on the road. But I always manage to chase them off. I don't go all out, though, because if the company was held liable for the injuries I caused... Well, I'd get canned. Whenever I set foot in a new city, I always climb somewhere high up and gaze down at the scenery. Sometimes a breeze will pick up and the petals will float like crystal flies from one end of the street to the other. And when the sun begins to set, I'll find a nice spot to watch the city lights come on. From high up above, they look like flickering specks of sunlight dancing beneath the forest shade at noon. I could stay up there all day if I wasn't in a hurry to deliver my packages. <sighs> I wish I could take Granny with me and show her all these things. It's really important to enjoy your life. In the last few days of a long-distance trip, or on a night when all my work's done, I'll always have a hearty meal at the busiest restaurant, then look for the most comfortable rooftop and feel the breeze on my face until I fall sound asleep. 
There are so many little joys in the world that deserve to be savored, and it'd be such a great loss if I didn't relish every one of them. Which is why I always pick the bones clean when I'm eating fish. Ooh, I can feel my yokai powers growing! Huh? Are my tails getting longer too? My body feels lighter. I feel like I could deliver ten different packages in one go. Whoa, with this much power, I think even that Kitsune yokai might need to watch out. <laughs> uh, just kidding. It's not a competition after all. I'm just happy as long as I get to keep every customer's package safe. And you too, for always staying by my side. Oh, by the way, wanna try touching my tails? I'm pretty sure they've gotten longer. <laughs>